Hey, I <laughs> just woke up. Well, no, I've been up for a little bit, uh, drinking my coffee and whatnot. And every morning I tell myself, I'm gonna go to the park and enjoy the cooler weather. Although it's been, you know, it's been summer till yesterday when the cold front hit. Ahead of the cold front, we hit 99 degrees. <laughs> and this morning we're in the low 60s and with a nice breeze blowing. So I hope it's not messing up the audio too much. But temperatures right now in the low 60s and it feels cooler than that with the wind and I just wanted to come out and talk and say hi and tomorrow morning I want to come out because we're supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow morning after a high today only in the 70s so I, I love fall because it leads to my favorite season which is winter time <laughs> very good and I need to be on here more talking with you uh, because really when I'm talking with you I'm talking with myself and you know, I have some plans and some ideas and some thoughts. And they do say, you know, if you have some goals or some plans, don't share them with everyone because then in your mind, you feel like you've already done it. So there are some things I'm not gonna tell you that I'm, you know, interested in doing, but uh, otherwise I do wanna come out to Higginbotham Park. Just feels like home here. I just love it here. This is the uh, one of the signs. What's really funny is Higginbotham with one G, and on the other side of the lake, Higginbotham with two Gs. <laughs> and this is, you know, the walking trail, seven tenths of a mile. And this is the scene of the crime. This stretch of trail right here. I guess it was, uh, it's been three months ago now, two months ago. I was doing a full out sprint, feeling good and just blew out my calf. And I haven't been walking really since, and I need to get back at that as well. So I'm gonna move over to the tree. I have my tripod with me, and uh, let's sit down and, and visit for a little bit. Oh, there's my car. A little, little VW Beetle. It's got a turbo, you know? It's got some giddy up. All right, hang on. All right, have the microphone. Oh, I should look at the camera. So I have the microphone here. Let's plug it in. It's going to be too windy, but I think my body can block it. <clears throat> Testing one, two. Testing one, two. So if I angle this way, maybe that'll work. All right, so um, welcome to Higginbotham Park. Like I said, it feels like home here. I really do like it. And... Just thought I'd come and visit for a little bit. <clears throat> I really need to do this more often, come to the park in the morning, maybe comb my hair, maybe not. I'm a very casual person <laughs> and somewhat lazy, and that's okay. So a couple things I want to do. One thing is I want to quit my job. <laughs> um, just I'm feeling some angst lately. There's uh, you know, a couple things that I really dislike and one of them is if I feel like I'm being controlled or if I don't have freedom and my job is definitely the opposite of freedom uh, it's a call center job and so I'm really you know stuck at my desk uh, which I do that on purpose a lot because I'm at my computer a lot because that's my hobby and that's where I goof off and also where I work when I'm not working and so I'm stuck at my desk by choice a lot but at work, I have, you know, set breaks that are timed to the second. Same with lunch. It's just very restricting. And, I, you know, in the past, I've had jobs that are much more free. <laughs> and I prefer that. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this job in the sense that, you know, I really needed a job. And I felt like God really provided this job. And it's, it has been a godsend and I've been able to pay my bills and God's really used it to take care of me. So I'm not, I'm not dissing it in that regard. Um, I just feel like it's time to move on and I want to take some chances and I have to be careful <laughs> uh, just because of my personality and, and the way I do things sometimes. Sometimes I will jump off a cliff uh, too soon <laughs> without a safety net just to prove to myself that I can do it. And uh, it's got me in trouble a couple times. Um, ultimately not, I mean, I've been able to work through it, but it's led to some depression and some really hard times. So I do want to avoid that. But I also feel like God's telling me um, no more of that. Um, and you know, there's some things I'm working on and some ideas that I have. 
and one of them is talking with you. So, so I think we'll do more of that and we'll see where it leads and I'll try to be smart about the transition. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, beautiful sunrise this morning. It was just gorgeous. I didn't get out here soon enough to get a picture of it for you. You know, I spent 15 years in Tucson and another year in Phoenix. I love Arizona. It's beautiful. I don't miss the heat in the summer. I'm really happy to be back in Lubbock. It's kind of strange in the sense that, you know, it's flat here. It's not like, you know, there's, I don't have a mountain across the street anymore. But, the, you know, the cold front yesterday, uh, the wind this morning and the cooler air and just the, the four seasons and the way things changed and last winter was amazing. So I really do enjoy being here. The people are here are so great. Uh, the church I'm going to, connecting with uh, my pastor friend again and serving the church and meeting so many great people and getting involved there has been a godsend. And so, and you know, some friends here. So I do like being here. I think I'll stay. <laughs> and here we are, Higginbotham Park. You know, like I said, it feels like home. Yeah, I, my apartments are a little bit dangerous. <laughs> it's uh, not the best neighborhood. And so I, I do look forward to getting out of there, maybe when my lease ends in the summertime. I'd love to get a house somewhere near this park. That's, I would like to do that, but we'll see. Like I said, be careful about saying your goals out loud because in your mind, you've already accomplished them and then you won't work towards them. So that's what I've heard anyway. I don't know. I'm just making this stuff up as I go. So good chat this morning. I have to get to work in an, in an hour, so I got to get back home and get ready. But we'll try this again tomorrow morning and, and see how it goes. And um, you know, I'm probably not going to have a chance to edit this until after work. So you'll see this tonight, and then maybe a couple years from now, even who knows. All right, talk to you in a little bit. See ya. <laughs>